understand uh, we are on a fairly tight schedule. We will be here for a bit, and then we fly again and land again and have another uh, little uh, meet and greet. And I want to have time for some questions, and uh, then hopefully get to say hello to as many people as I can. So I will try to be fair and orderly, but this started over here. How do you feel about flat tax or fair tax? How do I feel about flat tax and or fair tax? Uh, well, of course, my uh, my flattest and fairest tax is I get rid of the IRS. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't signed on to either the the fair tax or the flat flat tax. Anything that came to the floor that would undermine the IRS and lower taxes, I'd be voting for. But it's, it's really the secondary issue. The real issue is what I was talking about. What should the role of government be? Should the role of government be running a welfare state? Should they be running our lives? And should we be policing the world? When you reject that, the taxation, probably no matter which way they collected it, if it was about this big, we wouldn't be needing to have our revolution. Uh, but uh, un unfortunately, uh, too many people have allowed the role of government to go out of hand, so taxation becomes the, the symptom. So we have to address the subject of what should the proper role of government be, and then uh, get rid of the income tax. And at the beginning of our history, they had a, a not a punitive uh, tariff, but they did have a tariff and some excise taxes. And uh, it, it, in comparison to what we have today, those taxes would be incidental. In the back. Energy, ener energy issues are very important to me. How do you uh, stand on cap and trade and also the ethanol subsidies? Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm against cap and trade, obviously. Uh, that's a cap and tax trade. And, uh, <laughs> and then they want to uh, reward, uh, uh, they are actually be able to uh, sell permits to inflate. The whole process is wrong. If, if you want to deal with environmental things and, and energy, it's dealt with on a free market. Uh, you, you have a right to use your property, your right to drill and do whatever, but you don't have a right to, uh, to hurt your neighbor's property. You don't have a right to pollute anybody's air, or anybody's water, or anybody's land, and, but you have a right to your own land and to produce, and free markets would handle this. So that leads into the question about ethanol. Uh, you know, that, that argument is so messed up in Washington because... Um, Tax credits are not subsidies. If, if I give you back your money and you get to keep some of your tax money, that is not a, a, a subsidy. So I'm for as many, under the circumstances, I vote for all tax credits. But what's wrong with the, the, uh, the ethanol tax credit, it only goes to one item, corn. You know, and that have, happens to help Iowa a whole lot. Well, if you want to market, you want to have tax credits for everything. Um, actually, Brazil gets more ethanol out of sugarcane, but they don't get the same benefit. So some of the people who get annoyed with these, t these tax benefits or tax credits, we've got to get rid of it, rid of this tax benefit for the farmers who <coughs> don't want to. You want to give it to everybody, you know, equally. And uh, yet the tariffs, uh, the punitive tariff on imported uh, ethanol, I wouldn't do that. The consumers would be protected in the free market, so you want to get rid of those uh, tariffs, and you also don't want to have mandates. The government shouldn't tell us that you need 8%, 12%, or 15%. The market's supposed to determine that. So um, and there's another uh, little item that uh, I like to bring up, and some people don't understand it, but one very, very good source of ethanol is from hemp. So why don't we legalize the hemp? Uh, the bureaucrats that I've met and the politicians that I know are not capable of deciding where the best energy source of energy comes from. Only the market can do that and prices can do that. So uh, right now the market has helped us out on natural gas. Natural gas prices are going down because they've learned how to capture more gas. And uh, that's what should happen and it would. And the market uh, could sort out nuclear energy and they, uh, I suspect you know, in spite of the problems that nuclear energy faces, less people die with nuclear energy than anything else. But it's still very dangerous, but it also gets subsidies. 
it gets the insurance and deals with the waste. And if the market handles it and you measure it by safety and protection of the environment through property laws, uh, the consumer will tell you which is the best source of energy. Uh, I, I happen to think if we did get, say, run out or get too dependent on foreigners for imported uh, petroleum, uh, maybe we'd have more electric cars. And uh, they, they could be used in the cities. There's all kinds of other options that are available. But uh, the fact that we had a Department of Energy that was uh, supposed to manage energy, it hasn't done a very good job. Okay, over right here. Which means creating jobs. Creating jobs. Create a free market environment, um, and you will have the jobs. But specifically, I would change the tax code because because of my attack on the Fed, I don't want the Fed just buying debt for the reasons I said. But others say, well, they have to create the credit. Nobody saves any money, so where are the people going to get the money? So the Fed creates it, but that's a distortion. So I don't want them to do that. If they, if they don't print the money and have the capital available, where would the capital come from? We'll change our tax code. Our big corporations, you know, have, uh, have subsidiaries around the world, and they pass all the profits around the world because the taxes are lower, and uh, they pay them, but they have, they're sitting on over a trillion dollars. And they would bring it home, but they're going to get taxed again at 40%. So why bring it home? So we need to just get rid of that tax, Tell them to come back and bring it back here, and that would produce the capital. That wouldn't be enough. You still have to make sure corporate taxes get a lot lower. There is no such thing as corporate taxes. Corporate taxes are a sales tax because they don't stay in business unless they pass that on to us as the consumer. So we should get that as low as possible. We have to not pile on more regulations in the Depression, piled on regulations. Uh, they had Sarbanes-Oxley. Now they have uh, the Frank Bill on financial. Every time we have a crisis, they say, oh, it must have been because we didn't have enough regulation. We need to do it. I've said one thing, that uh, if I am to be president, I'm going to be the first president that ever shrunk the size of the Federal Register and not expand it. 